I was doubtful whether to go for a DSLR or GoPro when it comes to taking good quality videos. And my experiments with GoPro has brought me to a conclusion. I'll be revealing that through this video. So stay tuned and watch this video till the end. Hi friends, welcome back to another video from a YouTube channel. It's me, Sean with you. In this video, I'll be showing you some of my experiments with the GoPro action camera. This is the GoPro Hero 5 black action camera. I have taken some shots and I will be sharing those shots through this video. And these are some of my ideas and vlogging experiments I have made using the GoPro camera. So let's have a look at it. When it comes to vlogging, the GoPro does a pretty decent job, especially uh, the way you talk. I mean, all the sounds and all are captured using this GoPro camera. And I don't know whether any uh, of my sounds are getting lost because the audio quality is really decent when compared to vlogging. And I was also wondering why people are going for a DSLR when there is a, such a nice camera like GoPro, especially the image stabilizations, the audio and all are pretty awesome. Right? And I'm just vlogging using this GoPro camera. You can just check the experience I'm having. I hope the images and the surroundings around me are well stabilized, especially the video quality is smooth. And I'm using a tripod for doing the vlog. 
And one speciality that I have observed is that you don't need an external microphone to connect to your GoPro because the GoPro already has an inbuilt microphone and it helps you to capture crystal smooth audio. I hope you have enjoyed this small video. Now let's move on to the next one. Some of the advantages regarding the GoPro camera that I have found is that it is easy to carry. You can hold it in your palms or place it in your pockets easily. It has an inbuilt strong voice capturing microphone. You won't be needing any external microphones. The image and video stabilization is comparatively great. You don't need an external stabilizing equipment to avoid shaky videos. The wide angle shots are far better than a DSLR. It has also got a beautiful 2 inch touch screen followed by voice control, GPS and it is also waterproof and can withstand water pressure up to 10 meters without the need for a separate housing. The only drawback I have observed about the GoPro camera is that it doesn't have a front facing selfie screen. There are also some battery and heating issues. Apart from all these, the GoPro camera does a decent job. The price ranges of a GoPro camera starts from Rs 27,000 onwards with the latest model of GoPro Hero 8 available at Rs 39,000 onwards. The refurbished GoPro price ranges are from rupees 15,000 onwards. You might wonder about the high price followed by the camera only having 12 megapixels. But friends, I highly recommend to blindly go for this camera because the image and the stabilized video quality are extremely awesome. You'll really love it. And coming to a conclusion, out of my experiences, I would prefer a GoPro rather than going for a DSLR camera. And friends, let me know your opinions as well in the comments below. Feel free to post a comment. So now I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have enjoyed this video, feel free to give a like or else give a dislike to this video. So we'll meet again next time in another video with a fresh topic. Till then, bye, take care, stay home, stay safe.